Welcome to Fly East Kitchen. I'm Jessica, your host, and today we are making a Valentine's Day dessert that you don't want to miss. I'm making red velvet cake rolls, and I'm super excited, <laughs> as you can see. Make sure that you guys like, subscribe, share, comment below, and let's get right into this V-Day dessert. nervous I can't lie because I've never made <laughs> red velvet cake rolls before let alone a big dessert person when it comes to like baking that's not me I eat dessert often I don't make dessert I usually buy the dessert but we gonna go ahead and try our hand at this recipe so we're gonna make it actually pretty easy if you have a red velvet cake recipe like that you like to make from scratch and that's your jam do it great it's beautiful but I don't and so we all go ahead and and make this as simple as possible go ahead and grab y'all some cake mix of course we have the red velvet cake mix right here you know super moist it's gonna be great and you just need egg oil um yeah and i think that's it and just some water so we can <laughs> just go ahead and make this we have our cream cheese frosting which is gonna be spread into or on top of the cake like as we roll you guys are gonna see what i'm talking about and then of course I love white chocolate chips and so I can never, you know, make anything <laughs> desserty without it. So I have this big bowl of white chocolate chips that we're going to melt and drizzle on top of our cake roll once it's done. All right, so basic thing that you need to do first is make sure that your oven is preheated at 350 and we're gonna go ahead and throw this mix into a little bowl so we can get started. So we're gonna begin with making our red velvet cake from our mix from the box. All you're going to do is beat your eggs. Um, the box usually instructs to only add three eggs, but I read somewhere that adding the additional three is gonna make your cake extra moist. I don't know if that's true, <laughs> but that's what I did. So you're gonna beat it until thickened and then add in your cake mix. Normally you would add in your water and your oil before mixing it again, but I told y'all I'm not a baker and so I did it backwards. Whatever. It still turns out fine. So like I said, you're going to add that all together, beat it in completely to make sure that it's mixed properly. And then that's it, y'all. We're just going to go ahead and place it in a pan so that we can start to bake. Our cake mix is all done. Look how beautiful and red that is. <laughs> You're gonna go ahead and grab like a flat baking pan um, because we want the cake to be as flat as possible so it's easier to roll. Of course, you don't want no high thing. You ain't rolling that. I mean, I don't know if I could. <laughs> if you have parchment paper, go ahead and place it down. You can also use aluminum foil, but make sure that you spray it really well with cooking spray so that it's easy for when we flip it over and begin to roll. All right, so. Let's go ahead and start pouring this mixture in. So our cake is ready to be baked. We're gonna just throw it in the oven for like 30 minutes and then it'll be ready to roll. <laughs> Let's go ahead and place this in the oven. Our cake is ready. It's piping hot right now, but this is the time that we have to roll. If you have a kitchen uh, towel, you're going to go ahead and pour some powdered sugar all over. I kind of went crazy with the powdered sugar. I don't know. You don't have to put this much. I don't think, but you know, like I said, it's my first time doing this. So let's just see what happens. All right. So now what we're going to do is grab our cake and then going to flip it. Ah! <laughs> I'm like scared. Okay, we're gonna flip it, boom, yay, on top of our part of sugar. And now we're going to begin to roll it. <laughs> Using your kitchen towel while the cake is still hot, you're going to just tuck and roll to create your cake roll. You wanna be somewhat gentle so that it doesn't break as you're rolling it, but I think the powder sugar does help. So once you finish rolling it, go ahead and place it in the fridge for about 30 minutes to cool. Our cake roll is cooling down and I'm so excited because once we pull that out after it's completely cool, we're gonna go ahead and place our frosting in it. So in the meantime, what we're going to do is go ahead and melt our white chocolate so we can place the glaze on top. You can melt your white chocolate a couple different ways, but I just placed it in a medium saucepan on medium high heat, added the white chocolates, almond milk, and as well some vanilla extract because I'm super extra. <laughs> You're just going to melt it completely and leave it on low until we're ready to use. And now we're ready to unroll our cake. 
Once the cake has cooled down, you'll grab it out of the fridge and then begin to gently unroll it. And then grab your icing and begin to ice the whole cake. It's going to be so good once we start to roll. I might be going a little overboard with the icing, but it's a little bit of cracks on the corner. And so we're just going to add additional icing <laughs> to see if that's going to, you know, kind of be the super glue that we need. I guess we need some of that Gorilla Glue, but, you know, we don't need that in our food. <laughs> All right. So now what we're going to do now that you have the icing on. Oh, I wanted to add some little razzle dazzle inside. So I have some gold sprinkles just to add a cute little touch. And now we're going to roll it back, <laughs> it, which I'm very nervous about, you guys. But we're going to do it together. Okay, so we're going to do this. Push it. See, this corner is kind of breaking, which sucks. But it'll be okay. Just try to hold it together as best as you can. Definitely use the towel as your aid so that you can continue to roll. It smells really good. So that's the most important part. And I'm sure it's gonna taste great too. All right, I think we're doing it. I think it's happening. <laughs> I know you guys can't completely see. But maybe I'll turn it this way. Okay. So you just roll it. This might be embarrassing or it might be really good. Let's see. Oh, snap. <laughs> it just looks like a huge log. <laughs> Not that bad for our first time. All right. So I'm going to move it from our towel here. Place it on here now. I'm definitely feeling like <laughs> this is like science project status because it doesn't look that great, but we're still going to make it work. I melted um, some white chocolate. And so what I'm going to do now is pour some on top. <laughs> I just feel like these colors are just, I don't know. I think I'm being a little too hard on myself. I feel like it's going to taste good. Sometimes it's just, you know, sometimes you just don't get the plating right, right? but it's still gonna taste good. So we put some of that on top and I'm gonna add the rest of the icing. <laughs> so we have iced up our circle cake, AKA our red velvet log is what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. I think I did, you know, I would say a six out of 10. What, what do you think? No? Maybe you guys can write in the comments what you guys think. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and slice these up so that we can taste. We did it. And you know what? It may not have come out as perfect as I would have liked it, but honestly, it still looks really, really good. We've gone ahead and sliced our cake rolls. Look how good that looks. I sprinkled a little powdered sugar on top and now it's only left to taste. So let's get in it. Oof. It's nice and like spongy, you know? So I feel like it's gonna be super moist. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I can actually get it on my fork. Mm. It's really, really good. Very sweet, <laughs> but very red velvety, which is super exciting. Cause I'm a red velvet um, obsessor. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It may not be like Pinterest perfect, but I promise it tastes better than anything you've ever had. So you guys can go ahead and try this. Maybe your cake roll will come out a little bit better than mine, but I'm actually very proud of this. <laughs> you guys make sure that you like, subscribe, share, comment below, and catch me on another episode of Fly Eats Kitchen.